So this is episode 25 of our journey to beat Roblox Bed Wars. And the new objective of the series is to get level 55 within the battle pass. And in the last episode, we used the Terra Kit. Which brings us into today's episode where we need to buy our AFK crates. 750 battle pass XP. Even more battle pass XP. Just a bit more battle pass XP. A lot more battle pass XP. And we just got Battle Pass XP. I'm gonna go look at the comments to see which kit you guys voted for. And the most like comment is to use the Zephyr kit. If we actually go ahead and red Zephyr, it's going to use a Battle Pass token. So we used up our spur Battle Pass token, so we still have an any rental ticket. Oh, it looks like we have an approaching challenger, a level 33 Zephyr. There's absolutely no way that just happened. As soon as I said that, they both just insta disconnected. How did they hear me? Well, I guess we don't have an approaching Zephyr. Yeah, you keep out your pickaxe while I get the first, like, four hits. I don't know where he's dropping those diamonds. And we're already up to five Zephyr stacks. Which means we can now triple jump all over the map. Maybe by getting the bed plate in, it might wake them up a little bit and actually make them put a bed defense. I swear Builder Kit is still free kit of the week. People need to start using the Builder Kit. We just got that triple jump combo on them. I'm just trying to cap all the zones and I'll be out everyone's way. Oh, Iron Armor, Goofy Tryhard animation user. Thank you very much. Whenever you go back to base to reduce up, you lose your stacks, but I guess we can easily get them back. I got extra speed. You are not running away. So if it's telling me this kit is a slightly overpowered. Can I just triple jump up to here? Yeah, this kit is crazy OP for this map. Doing extra 8 damage per hit. There's literally nothing that anyone can do. They just can't keep up. I'll take the diamond armor. Yeah, this kit is slightly overpowered. Can't even bow me. <laughs> right, before we kill the boss, let's go get our 5 stacks. What is going on over here? Why Why is there entire bed defense on fire? All right. I think that'll do. Now we can go kill the boss. Stop everyone from getting their guards as well because they just can't run away. And if we get knocked anywhere, we can just triple jump. We've got to be careful these triple jumps though. Bink! <laughs> do they have a tier 3? Hold up a minute. Oh, they have a tier 2. Okay, they're probably going to get a tier 3 soon, right? We completely melt the guardians now. That's a kill. Back to 50 seconds. I think this guy's going for a bed, but I don't think it's going to quite work out for him. They also have a tier two. 12 diamonds in their chest. I'm reformed. I didn't even steal the diamonds. I kind of want them to get a tier three so they stay in the game longer. We, we ain't got much time. See what I'm saying? That's why pearls are OP. You get really low on stack and now we're maxed out again. I'm going to go and get our stack up real quick. I just need to get myself a headhunter so I can just go around Abe training just for the fun of it. That's an interesting bridge to stand on, isn't it? I gotta say, you guys really did well with the kit choice. This kit is busted. Bustedly broken. At least I can save myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I just keep tripping on my laces or something. Jumping around ain't gonna save you, alright? Look, you're so predictable. And now you are dead! You might need a thicker bridge than that. No, my teammate broke Blue's bed. I've just missed out on some XP there. May as well just get the final kills then. That's one way to do it. <laughs> all right, all beds are about to destroy, so let me just do this real quick. Allow me to get the bed break first. May as well just get the final kills before my teammate go in. 2,600 XP wasn't too bad. All right, I'm looking for ideas to do with the metal detector. And pretty much every single comment is to just use loot only from the metal detector. Which makes sense. It's the only thing you can really do with an economy kit. No way it's all the way back here. I haven't even got blocks to get back up yet. It's actually a lot harder this season because I'm missing out on so many diamonds not being able to capture generators. All right, I'm going to capture the generator just so I can get XP. I'm just going to drop the diamond in the void. Definitely going to get the first hit here. Yo, bring me more iron next time. And if my team give me, like, iron from the gen split, I'm just going to spend it all on blocks. All right, that's a kill right there. And he... Oh, and he just fed me. When does it start actually juicing me up with some big loot? All right, this guy's chasing me. I don't know if he has any loot whatsoever, but I'm sure we're about to find out. No, we're not, because it doesn't count as my kill. Oh, well, at least he doesn't get to spend it. Oh, there's two suffocations in the span of like 10 seconds, but we still don't get any loot out of it. I'm not even trying to teleport back. I'm just trying to bait him into coming up. Can we finally get enough metal so we can get iron armor at least? There's people running around with crossbows now. 
All right, this should be iron armor now, right? Okay, finally. Do not have diamond collected teammates. Or any teammates for that matter. We're only solely relying on this metal detect loot. And it is barely given anything at all. And I was right. People are running around with crossbows. All right, I'll capture this and throw the diamond in the void. I gotta make my time worth it so I can actually get some XP. This guy's been chasing me around with crossbow like all game. You know what? We can actually go buy our own crossbow now. So we good. It's about time we can actually go do things now. I'm just gonna go for this kill. This guy probably has some loot. And we got plenty of loot out of that. That was well worth it. I accidentally picked up a thingy thing, so I'm just going to throw it there. Hey, who knows? They might pick it up and I could just reclaim it. Or I could just bow them all in the void. That works too. Yeah, pick up that diamond. He actually did as well. There's no way he was greedy enough to do that. <laughs> he got so greedy. Who's this guy behind me? It, that was a respectable attempt to get me from behind. I'm just going to use this base to buy my loot because I think they're camping my base. All right, come on. Get, start giving me some diamonds or something. He's about to pearl up onto me. Yeah, do it then. Back down you go, mate. Dead! All right, come on. Please have some loot. Please have some loot. Into the void. We might be able to actually buy a headhunter and I might just do it. Oh, never mind. We still need 12 diamonds. We need two more diamonds. What's the battles all the way up here. Oh, we can finally go by the headhunter. They don't learn, do they? Compel onto me. Yeah, smart guy. The great news is the beds have destroyed. I'm just going to keep them at their base the whole time. They went for the two-player push. To be fair to them, that was a good push. Can they capitalize on it? That is the question. Oh, it looks like he's tripping over his laces today as well. All right, so now we're going to be using Hannah, but we're only allowed to use the execute ability, which basically means just steal as much kills as possible. I basically just have to follow around my teammates until they get someone low and steal the kill. Very slow moving teammates, but it's better than nothing. I hate these play styles where I can't PvP. It is so painful, especially when I've got to run around relying on my teammates. Get PvP in him. Do something. It is not looking good at the moment. Oh, he's got some TNT. Maybe he wants to go bed break. Okay, let's follow him. Oh, is he getting his egg? Oh, he's getting his flying TNT egg. Ah, oh, great. I've got to do challenges where people are still going for their eggs. Why is our sheep herder just sitting at... Oh, there he is. As soon as I called for him, he spawned in. All right, let's follow this guy and hope that he actually goes and does something. Yeah, my teammates haven't even got a kill yet. Of course, I get the teammates that want to go around adventuring rather than fighting. I haven't even got a single execute out of this yet. Just got to spam F and hope for the best. This guy's spawning in chickens. Great. Oh, finally, we can get our first execute. <laughs> It's about time. Can I get some irons for armor or not? It's been eight minutes of the match and we've only had one execute. What is he doing down here? Oh, perfect. <laughs> and he called me a little boy. Oh, as if it's even a good insult to begin with. Oh, he's actually finally fighting. Now we can steal the kill. And he just got absolutely clapped on by a Talia kit. Oh, these ideas where I can't PvP are so annoying. But I think me being bored is your entertainment. Attack! Get him! Oh, no, he just smacked him in the void. At this point, I should have been just a support kit or something. He actually got the bed, though. Nah, I'm good, little boy. I can't believe I've had 15 minutes of absolute nonten of just running around doing nothing. But whenever anyone else uses Hanaki on my team, all of my kills get stolen. Wow, he's finally leaving base. That is crazy. I didn't think I'd see the day. All right, they're not low enough just yet. Now he's going to kill them probably. Come on, just hit your shot. Finally. I'm just going to wait around until I see an next. Oh, perfect. Hey. Oh, this guy's low. Hold up a minute. That's a, that's an execute right there. Okay, finally. It took us to the very end of the match to finally get some executes and steal some kills. Bruh, he fell and I want to get the egg. All right, so I found a challenge for Builder. Every block I place, I have to fortify. We need to make sure we have enough iron to fortify the entire bridge. So yeah, you spawn with stone. So before we go anywhere, we have to fortify our entire bed defense. And it's going to take forever because my team decided to buy error over a tier one. So if I just want to build up, this is what I have to do. Why does this happen to me where if I have to rely on my teammates, I get the biggest bots. And then when it's an update day where I'm trying to cover some content, I get the biggest tryhards. So the idea is to try not to place any blocks. Don't worry, guys. We can build up with a couple blocks. And we've run out of iron, so now we wait. It kind of worked out. I'm not even going to be able to build up as quick as anyone else. So if this guy builds up, he could just escape me. 
He's probably thinking, what is this guy doing? Yeah, this sucks. Like, look how slow I build up to anyone else. But at least we got four to five blocks, right? All right, and now we're low. Okay, this is, this is, this is annoying. <laughs> this is so painful to do. Well, I hope you're happy with this, so I'm happy to reinforce every single block. Wait, am I stupid? I could just use bridge printers to build up. Oh, there's some guys above our base. Hold up. Ah, oh, now I'm too high. Great. Now I've got to come down, uh, upgrade that, and then I've got to get bowed in the void. Yeah, it literally takes too long. All right, upgrade all these blocks. Upgrade this block, and again. And now we survive the situation somehow. Oh, no. This is not good. And that's exactly why bridge princes suck. All right, well, there's a kill. Four, four, four emeralds right there. All right, another two emeralds. We can actually go get ourselves some diamond armor. I'm risking it. Just got to risk it sometimes. Oh, it was worth the risk. Oh, yeah, that's a kill right there. He had this emerald dow as well. We need to get out of here, bro. We need to get out of here, like, quick. Please don't knock me up. I hate these bridge princes. They're so annoying. Oh, my goodness. What is the point of them? What is the actual point of them? had to be done and we win let's go all right so in the next episode the update should be out so we're gonna have four new kits to use so if you enjoyed today's episode be sure to leave a like and if you're new to the series or missed any episodes here's a series playlist to keep up to date